what's up youtube i'm your boy jaquan back in another video and today i'm going to be showing you how to connect your elgato hd60 or hd60s to your playstation and so you can record your gameplay on a mac so it's very simple so now when you unbox the elgato hd60 you should see that it has a hdmi out on this side and then an hdmi in on this side the micro usb and then you'll see an in output input also like the right beside the in input should be like a three like a headphone jack input and i'm gonna tell you guys about that probably in another video because it's about connections and like the sound and audio from like playstation from the elgato chat link so that would be another video link in the description because be, i'm gonna make that like more detailed of how to do that so basically we're just gonna do the simple hookup of the elgato hd60 to the playstation 4 so now i got my ps4 under my desk and i have the hdmi coming up through here so i'm going to just show you like how i simply plug it up so basically your ps4 hdmi that comes up will go into the input so input from the playstation into the input and then the usb right here it should be a core that goes into your computer your pc or your mac so you plug that into the mac and if you have the hd 60 s you should have a USB type C. And if you have the regular HD60, you should just have like a regular micro USB. So that will plug into this and that will go straight into the computer. And then the output will be the single HDMI that will go into like a monitor or a TV. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. So it should be real simple. Everything will go, that's supposed to be plugged in, that's gonna go through it, will go on the inside, input side. So that that even that even include the headphone jack, which will be a different video. And then you just plug in the Mac, and you should see it lights up. And then you take the output plug, plug that up, and then it should start. If you turn on the PlayStation, so first actually, you gotta load up the Elgato software. So since I plugged it in, I'm gonna just restart it and get a fresh start. All right, now my Elgato software just restarted. So um, now if we turn on the PlayStation and as you see, it will show up on the TV. Now, if you don't plug in the Mac or PC into the Elgato HD60, it's not going to send power through to be able to power it up on a TV. So if your TV is not showing anything, that's because the HD60 is not properly plugged in there, or that just means you need to restart the Elgato software. If you do have everything plugged in, just don't worry, it's going to work. You just gotta make sure you see that white light. If you see like a, a red light, I think that means that you need to like reconnect it right. Or it could be like in standby mode, just make sure everything is turned on. You might have to like unplug it and plug it back in. Or also, so let's say, you know, um, I'm gonna sign into my profile and I'm gonna show you one thing that you have to make sure you do whenever you're using the HD60. So if you go, you have to do this or you won't be able to see. So it's best that you probably do this before you hook it up. So um, if you see like this problem that is just blinking, like the screen is going off and on, that means that you need to unplug the Elgato HD60 from the PlayStation and then plug the PlayStation HDMI straight into the TV. And then you gotta go to settings, system settings, and then you should see enable HDCP you have to make sure that's turned off. See now, I turn it on, everything went red, and if I turn it back off, everything should pop back up. So yeah, everything just popped back up. So if you turn that on, that's basically like to stop like copyright. So if you go into an application like YouTube, you have to turn this back on, but that means that you have to either turn off your computer or unplug the HD60 or just plug it into the TV. So if you just don't have your computer on or have the Elgato, well, you can have your computer on to have this power up, but if you don't have the Elgato software opened up, then you can use YouTube and turn this on. So also I'm gonna do like hooking up the VR headset for to the Elgato HD60, cause it's kind of confusing. It's even more confusing than this, it's super simple. So yeah, that's pretty much how you get that to work. So whenever, as you see on my Mac, everything I'm doing is recording. Like, well, it's not recording, but it's ready to record. So if you hit record, it's gonna start recording your gameplay. And like, if you go back, forth, back, forth, and then stop recording, it's gonna save it. Then you go to the, the edit spot, and then you should see 
the recording that we just did. That's literally the recording in the files. So yeah, that's pretty much, you guys, how you hook up the Elgato HD60 from the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro to the Mac Elgato software. Hope this helped you out. If you need any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Um, I'll answer them as quick as I can. And uh, yeah, the Elgato chat link video will be up soon. If you want to like know how you do, do party chat also with the PlayStation controller so you can be able to listen to yourself also from the headset and record chat audio and game audio, you're going to have to want to click that link because it's way more difficult. So when you just plug in just the HDMI, you're just recording the gameplay audio only. And that means that you can't, as in PlayStation, use your headset because it plugs into the PlayStation controller. So you can like listen to the chat. I mean, like, you know, your friends online also record and play. So you can record all audio and then like you could put like the audio come out the TV. You can also hear while you're recording or you can use a headphone into the monitor. But if you want to like just play with your headset and record also at the same time, you're going to need one of these cables and hooking it up is kind of difficult because it's a little bit different for the sound quality. So that video is going to be up after this video. So I'll make sure I upload these at the same time. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next video. Peace.